It's Brian Preston, the money guy. Okay, Brian, I want to talk a little bit now about specific ages. I want to talk about, uh, at the very beginning, I want to talk about our 20-year-olds, those folks that are at the beginning of their career, and they have everything out ahead of them. They have all the opportunity in the world, and yet a lot of them are not making decisions right now that we would suggest they should be making. Now, wait a minute. You left something out there, Bo. 20-somethings are billionaires. They are billionaires. They They are time billionaires. I tell you, the most powerful resource in wealth creation is how long you have for your money to grow and compound on your behalf. And 20-somethings have the biggest opportunity, Mm -hmm. but yet there's something in the background that's whispering to them, yo, hello, (laughs) hey, you only live (laughs) once. You could die tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Tomorrow's not promised. But you better enjoy right now. We have proof that this is everywhere. Make sure you max out your 401k. Your future self will thank you. Love it. Okay. Agreed. Sounds good. My 401k balance is 200000 It's too bad. I just can't use it. Don't worry. Your future self will thank you. My 401k balance just hit 500000 Too bad I still can't use it. Don't worry. Your future self will thank you. My 401k just hit a million. Too bad I still can't use it. Don't worry, your future self will thank you. Two million! My 401k finally hit two million! Ow, my back! For those listening to the podcast, he he, he had at 65. So uh-huh. I think he thinks at 65 you just completely fall apart. Yeah, he was going at every age. You know, at 20, save your future self. At 30, save your future self. Well, thank you. At 40. And I do worry that a lot of young folks feel this way. Oh, why do I care about this? Why do I care about having millions of dollars when I'm 65? I'm not going to live much longer after that. That's forever in the future. Why would I care about what my future self thinks? One of the big reasons we create this content is I'm hopeful that us encouraging you to save, even giving you a threshold of how much you should save, doesn't make you feel like you're entrapped by this, Mm -hmm. where you're regretting that you're not enjoying. I'm hoping that actually liberates you. Because if you know if you pay yourself first, once you reach those goals... The next dollar that comes into your possession, you can use it without regret. Mm-hmm. You've, you've maximized the potential of that dollar as well as then you can YOLO it up all you want and go <laughs> build memories, create things, because you know you paid yourself first and did it right. And for all the YOLO crowd, this is something I think is so interesting. I had Daniel. I said, Daniel, when we were looking at this video, I said, so he is making it seem like as you get older, it all falls apart. You know, don't do this because you just don't know what's going to happen in the future. And the reality is most of you watching this video will live to a ripe old age. And we have the proof. I mean, look at the U.S. life expectancy from 1860 all the way through 2020. You can see, older and older. And look, 1860. 40 years old. Mm -hmm. I would already be like, whoo, right. (laughs) Doing good now. (laughs) You were good. I mean, but I can't believe it. You've already made it 10 years beyond when you were supposed to. No, that's not the way life works now. You can see the line is right Mm -hmm. there under 80 years of age. You will likely live to a ripe old age. Start acting accordingly. Yeah, so often people say, well, tomorrow's not guaranteed. I don't know if tomorrow will be. Your risk is not that tomorrow won't come. The risk is tomorrow will come and you're unprepared. Even in that video that the guy showed, he was like, 65, my 401k finally hit 2 million. Imagine if he would have turned 65, his back went out, and he didn't have the $2 million. That's actually a much worse place to be in. The quote in there was, your future self will thank you. Here's what you don't want. Your future self to hate the younger self Mm -hmm. because they see what a missed opportunity. Because by the way, I have so many people. I don't have anybody like myself who started saving at a young age who gets to my age and I realize I'm not going to die with pennies. Mm -hmm. There's a good chance I'm going to have legacy planning and other things that a lot of the people we work with are going through the same things. I have zero regret about the things I didn't get to do in my 20s and 30s versus... 
I know lots of people my age that have the midlife crisis yep. and other things because they just didn't do what they should have done from a behavioral mm-hmm. standpoint. Don't be the person, not the quote, your future self will thank you. Don't be your future self will hate you mm-hmm. for squandering that valuable resource of time. Get to work. All right. So let's give you guys some spot chats. Let's talk about where our folks in their 20s are. So if you look at the average person in this country in their 20s, and all this data is from Fidelity and Vanguard, the average 401k balance for someone in their 20s is just under $20,000, 19000 $995. If you look at the average contribution rate, now this does not include employer contributions, this is just employee contribution rates, is about 7.4% for our 20 year olds. So when I hear that, immediately I, I look, I remember being in my 20s, I remember being broke, I remember things being tight. At least you're starting somewhere. But remember, if your goal is to have financial independence and to have it as early as possible so that you can have freedom and flexibility control as soon as possible, we think you should aspire to save 20 to 25% of your gross income. So if you're at 7.4, that's great. You should still try to see if you can get closer to 20 to 25%. If you want to know where your total uh, net worth should be, where your portfolio should be, you should aim by the end of your 20s, by the end of the decade, to have about 1.2 times your annual income saved by the time you get to age 30. Yeah, so you can see most people are hitting about a third, and mm-hmm. this is going to be a consistent trend. It's not just the 20-somethings. Yep. People are only saving about a third of what we recommend. Here's what I would like to flip the script and say, okay... And I know in 20s, this is aspirational because you're starting your career. You don't make, you're not making as much as you will make. You're just trying to build the behavior of good, you know, building strong savings habits and investing, letting your money work for you. But what if you could do the 25%, what is that going to do for your future self? Yeah, it gets really, really exciting. So let's say that, let's say that conservatively, you can earn 6% rate of return in your portfolio. We think that's really conservative. And your goal when you retire is to replace 80% of your pre-retirement income. And we're going to assume that your portfolio can sustain a 4% withdrawal rate. All these are pretty broad assumptions, but pretty conservative. If you're a 20-year-old and you start saving 25% at 20, by the time you get to 49, assuming a relatively uh, nominal wage growth rate of one and a half percent, by the time you get to 49, you'll have a portfolio large enough to sustain a 4% withdrawal rate equal to 80% of your pre-retirement income. Now, I, you used to hear a lot about FIRE, mm-hmm. financial independence, retire early. I, I think when I see somebody who started at 20, who has reached this point by 49, it's the financial independence. That's right. Not necessarily retire, but I'm telling you, now instead of working because you're required mm-hmm. to, you're working because you enjoy it. You own your time. Think about right now while you're young, you're trading your time for money, mm-hmm. wages. In the future, if you do this right, you will trade your money, and it'll be money that came mm-hmm. from compounding growth for more time. That is the exact opposite of what we saw in that video where he was like, your future self will thank you. And then, oh, I'm hurting so bad because I'm old. No, this is going to give you more freedom, more flexibility to live life like you want to sooner the sooner you start being disciplined and putting your money to work. So let's play out the rest of the decade. If you're, if you, let's say that you don't get to start at 20 because you go to college, you start saving at 25. At 25, if you start saving 25% of your income, you can have an 80% income replacement by uh, 54. And then if you wait until age 29 to start saving, you're still on track for early retirement. If you can save 25%, you'll be able to replace 80% of your income by the time that you get to age 58. So Brian, what would you say the takeaway is, or say the big idea for someone in their 20s is that they should walk away from this with? Yeah, is that put your money to work as soon as possible. Take advantage of the free money, take advantage of the savings opportunities, and and building those good habits and behaviors financially, and your future self will be very happy with you.